yes you are welcome to this wonderful video tutorial today we'll be looking at how to send email using php mailer so before we get started i will urge us to subscribe to my youtube channel which is enzo tech uh, programming channel where we bring you everything everything you need to know about programming so subscribe and press the like button thanks very much as we get started so we've already have created a form the html form which you are seeing on the screen so right now we want to create a functionality whereby we can send email from our computer to gmail to a gmail account so let's get started so we're using what is called php mailer so i'll go to google and search for php mailer so you click the one with the github repo or the github link so this is the php mailer repo on github so you can see that php mailer a full featured email creation and creation and transfer class for php so definitely you must have uh, a php skills for you to follow up with this tutorial so and we are told that to install uh, php mailer you run it via a composer which you are seeing here uh, but for this tutorial i won't be running it on a composer i'll be downloading the the zip file which is by clicking on this drop down code that you see download zip already i have download i've already have downloaded the zip file for this php mailer it's already in my downloaded folder so let me still download it again so i click on download zip so i have downloaded it which you can see here so i'll go to my download segment so you can see and i have you extract it so right click here and click on extract all extract so i have extracted the php mailer so i click on this you will see although this one i've extracted before the new one i just extracted is this you will see php mailer master then you see the contents you can see that language src commitment composer and the rest so what i will do i will rename this php mailer master to php mailer so i have renamed this php mailer so i'll copy this and go put it in my master project uh, this is my master project so let me do it again for some of you local dixie click on local dixie because i'm dealing with php WAM 64 i'm using a WAM server www then i'll locate my master project which is mailer i will paste the folder here if you are using zamp you know the, the directory uh, to go to the local dc then from there you get to locate your directory but this is one server i'm using so i've just done that i'll open this on my visual studio code you can see the page mailer has just been opened language src commitment composer like I said earlier, I have already created the HTML form, this is, which is this. So I, I thought I won't take long in this tutorial. And this is the code for the HTML form. I will likely leave the link be, uh, on uh, at the bottom of this or at the end of this uh, tutorial. So this is my form action is send.php. We've not created the send.php yet. We have the method of post. So I'm going to create this action called send.php. So first we have a name, an email, a phone, a subject, and a message. You can see that from your knowledge of PHP, you should know what this entails. So I'll create um, the send.php, which is where our logic will be placed, will be placed into. So here I'll come here and I'll say send.php. So this is the send.php. So I'll go to the repo, that's a GitHub repo for PHP Mailer. They've given us a sample code, which is a simple example. You can see that. So what I will do, I'll copy the whole of this code. I'll copy it and go paste it in my send.php. So here I'll paste it, control V. So this is the logic. This is the code. This is the brain behind our email going to work or not. So at this point, I have to just come here and reference each of these fields. You can see we have a name, email, phone, subject and message so in php 
we was we declare the variable and in other languages so i'll go to my form.html so here i have name as name i'm just to declare name so i'll go to my send.php so here i'll come here and say declare variables so this is going to be name equal to post the name yeah put the same command for those of you that don't really know much about php i have a simple course on php which you can get for you to to help your skill set on php so here yeah, i'll come here and i'll put the super global post the email so i'll do the same thing for a uh, phone number phone phone i'll come here and put phone so i'll do the same thing for subject as the subject which the user is going to input so i'll do the same thing for message that's the body of the message okay so i've just declared the variables in php so the next thing we want to do now we'll go back to the documentation so that you can see where i'm getting everything from so i'll come to the documentation you know i'm not using composer so i'll take this three line of code require the parts now we have to require this Remember that we've already what is uh, downloaded the PHP Miller folder. Inside the SRC, we have the exception, the SMTP, and the PHP Miller.php, which we are going to reference. That's why I copied that code. So I'm going to paste the code here. So this part to refer to the part. So I'll come here, come here, take that off. I'll put the dot forward slash, take the part to just one step below. Take that part to away okay now exception.php is coming from where this src which you are seeing there php mailer.php is coming from the same src and the smtp.php is coming from the same src that's why i'm referencing it like this php mailer folder src folder then smtp.php so i've referenced it so there are some unwanted stuff that I need to take away from this uh, code, which is redundant. So I don't need the vendor to load because I did not use a composer. So I take that off. So uh, may SMTP debug. Now, if you leave this like this, the a user who is not a developer will start seeing errors that he or she can really interpret. So you use this when you want to uh, do it in the world, in the development process. But right now, I don't want to do that. I'll take it off. It's not mandatory. I take it off. Okay, so I'll leave this to be is SMTP because I'm dealing with SMTP here. So what's the host? Since I'm dealing with my local server, I'll come here and I'm dealing with Gmail. So my host will be SMTP.gmail.com. So leave this to be true. Then my email. So the email I'm currently going to use. I'm going to use my email here, which is this one. This email you're seeing, Peter. Cbo84. So I'll come here and put my email as username. So I'll come here and say Peter Cbo84 at gmail.com. At gmail.com. So the password, I'll leave it as secret now. Later I'll change it when I'm trying to encrypt, uh, when I'm trying to um, uh, configure the Gmail settings. So the port is 465 because I'm using SMCP here. But if I'm using TLS, the port is going to be what 587. So this place will be the sender email set from. So remember, we've declared a variable called email. So I'll put this. Then I'll put the name as an optional. So add address where you want the mail to be go and uh, to go to. So I want the mail to come to this my email, which is peterisboy4 at gmail.com. So I'll place it here. All these ones are optional. I don't need them. I take them off. If you want to attach um, an image or a file, you can leave this attachment if you want to do that. But I don't think I'm attaching anything here. So I take it off. Now, the subject. Uh, what the user puts as the subject. So I'll just come here because I'm getting the subject from the form. So I'll put a variable subject, which I had earlier declared here as subject. So the body. We have a body as message here, which I declared here as message. So I will take away all this 
uh, stuff, take them out, take them out, and I'll come here, I'll put message. Okay, I'll leave the alternative body as alternate. I don't really need this, I'll just leave it. So, echo message has been sent. So, if everything works out successfully, we should get message has been sent. So, but there's one thing remaining which we've not done, we've not configured our eBay, that's our Gmail account. We need to configure it, or else it will not work. So, yeah, I'll click here, then I'll click on manage your Google account. So, you to take it to this place, you click on security. Okay, so when you click on security, you will have to do uh, a two step verification. You have to do that a two step veri uh, verification. So I'll click it, then I'll come here and say get started. Okay, so so verify to so, uh, continue first verify it's you so let me check my let me see if i can get my account my password i think i forgot my password but no problem so let me just um get the password yes i have uh, completed the two-way verification now you can see that i have this check this green check uh check mark here so once you see that green check mark it shows that you have done the what you completed the two-way verification now after doing this verification the next thing you're going to do is to get the password so you're going to get the app passwords so here i'll search for app password so you click on app password security so here you click on this select app select app then you click on order custom name so i'll come here i'll give this a custom name of test then I'll click on generate so it will generate this password for you so this is your password for this uh, setting so you copy this password so you copy this password and go to your code and paste it so in place of secret you take the secret away and you paste it you get that so I think that is all what you need to do so let's save this and hopefully this is gonna work so i'll go to my browser i go to i refresh the browser so let me put let me just type um let me type uh what should i type let me type joseph joseph address joseph at gmail.com phone number zero eight zero let me just put any phone number so subject the dreaming state the dreaming state okay that's the subject so let me just put some messages here joseph the dreamer always dream big always dream Okay, always dream big. Always dream big. So I'll click on send or submit. So let me click on this. Why is it slow? Okay, message has been sent. So you can see that the message has been sent. So let's go check our um, our email. So you can see the dreaming state. Joseph the dreamer always dream big. So let me click on this. You can see Joseph the dreamer always dream big. So you can see that that work. So let's send another uh, email. So yeah, let's send another email. So let me send another email. Name something email something at gmail.com. Phone number, let me use the same phone number. Subject something the strongest man, strongest 
on this man so let me give a message Samson is the strongest man ever but unfortunately unfortunately a woman a woman was well, a woman let him down let him down so i'll click on submit so let's be patient for this to send our email successfully i think it's taking time So brilliant, you can see message has been sent. So let's go check our uh, account, refresh the browser. So you can see Samson the strongest man. Samson is the strongest man live, uh, to have lived, unfortunately a woman let him down. So you can see that we are able to, sum, uh, to send email across board. So thanks very much. I hope this is helpful, but please try and share this video try and also subscribe to our youtube channel god bless you have a lovely day